Greetings friends and welcome once again to my game room. I'm David McCord. I am a, a game collector and a game researcher and a game designer and a game maker and uh, I like games. I would like to introduce you to a game here today called Round the Clock. Now Round the Clock is an English pub game. There's lots of different English pub games, uh, variations that are regional. I imagine that's really true around the world. Um, but this particular one is a, uh, a variation on the old game Shut the Box. An awful lot of people know about Shut the Box these days. It's gotten very popular in the last few years. The most um, common version of it is the little box with the flippers and the dice and uh, flip the numbers up. There are popular variations uh, called Blitz, Clackers, Trick Track, Jackpot, and a betting game called Canoga. Uh, they're all variations on uh, the basic shut the box game. It can be played with a box of flippers, um, but it also can be just played on a piece of paper uh, with a chart of numbers, with a stack of dominoes, uh, even a suit of playing cards. Uh, the numbers 1 through 9, 1 through 10, 1 through 12 are all uh, used in different versions of the game. This particular version called Round the Clock uses a clock face with the numbers 1 through 12 in a circle here. Uh, two concentric circles, one for each player. And uh, not only does it use the addition of the numbers on the dice, but also it can use multiplication. So that's a little bit unique. Um, let's take a look at the detailed rules here. Each player takes 12 pegs of the same color and chooses either the inside ring or the outside ring of holes on the board to record their play. The starting player then takes up the two standard six-sided dice. During their turn, each player will roll both dice and consider the following results. The total of the dice added together, the total of the two dice multiplied, if that result is 12 or less, or the dice as two separate numbers. The player then places pegs in empty holes which will represent that result. Here's an example. The die roll of 2 and 3 can be used to claim the 2 and the 3, or the 5, which is 2 plus 3, or the 6, which is 2 times 3. In this case, the white player rolled a 2 and a 6, with which they could claim the 2 and the 6, or the 8, 2 plus 6, or multiply that to claim the 12, 2 times 6. And this example shows the result of a 4 and a 5. The player can claim either the 4 and the 5, or the 9, but multiplication doesn't work for this result. If a player can only use the results of one of the dice to place a peg, the player does so, ignoring the other die, then continue the turn with another roll. The turn ends when the die results in any combination don't match any unpegged number. This will likely leave some numbers unpegged. If, however, the player succeeds in pegging all 12 numbers in their chosen ring, they win the round instantly. So, of course, the scoring is based on how many holes are left unpegged, and those numbers are added up and uh, that's your score. The lowest total wins a round. The loser generally starts the next round um, and you play a series, sometimes you know, like best three out of five, that sort of thing, because uh, the game does go fairly quick and uh, you, but you can play as many rounds as you like and uh, that's Round the Clock, a version of Shut the Box that's available as part of our Peg Pastime series from New Venture Games and uh, it's distributed by Red Hen Toys. I hope you get a chance to try that out. If you like what you hear on the uh, Welcome to My Game Room YouTube channel, uh, please be sure and subscribe and uh, watch for more information about games from around the world. Uh, I'll talk about ancient games, modern games, uh, even games that don't exist yet. So uh, tune in and uh, we appreciate you uh, clicking that play button. Meanwhile, 
Take my advice, as I always say, be sure you play every day.